Did you ever wonder if fertilizer is making it through your mulch to the roots of your plants? Well, that's a great question. Right? Isn't it? Right. Julio and I love soil science because, you know, the action's down below the soil. The results are the plant up top. And one thing is that, like, and from our listeners' text, they, you know, people may be inclined to, oh, I'm just going to add mulch in the fall. I'm going to add mulch in the fall. Just going to add mulch in the fall. And what happens is that mulch can be compacted. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they don't realize it, that they've got the, what's supposed to be four inches of mulch at the most. Then they've got, like, compacted mulch that, if you fluffed it up, would be four inches. But now they added another, like, two or two three, three inches. Got and <laughs> it's like, <laughs> instead of do being a positive, it's a negative. And, and here's what we mean. Here's the science part. All right, everyone get out your pens and pencils. Mycorrhiza is attached to the roots of your plants as long as they're in healthy soil. Right? Yeah. Right. And what that does is that that's, think of it as like, going to give people nightmares. That's <laughs> like we talk about in our segment coming up. It is Halloween. Yeah. Think of it as like t- all these tiny little mouths. <laughs> and then what they're doing is that the mycorrhiza transforms the elements in the soil so that the roots can absorb it. So we're talking about the fertilizer and any of the nutrient value that's in your soil and everybody wants good soil. And that it won't work unless there's the mycorrhiza that's there. So, if your mulch is compacted, it's probably rotting, which has a tendency to bring the mycorrhiza closer to the surface to rot the mulch, and that bacteria is rotting the mulch, and it's not doing its job around the root system and transforming the nutrients in the soil and the fertilizer and all of that that money that you put down to feed your plants isn't doing anything, so your plants look yellow. I see this all the time, especially like rhododendrons, um, azaleas, like where they just look off. And I've had I've had people tell me it's like you know how no matter how much fertilizer I put on it, they don't seem to get green. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I'd rather see somebody in the fall kind of loosen up their mulch, take a pitchfork, take a hard rake, turn that over, loosen that up so there's air circulation in the mulch that will dry out any of the roots, or I'm sorry, dry out any of the weeds that are trying to germinate rather than creating a spot for those weeds to come up. Now, in our uh, listener that texted us, there's a good chance that their weeds are only growing in the rotted mulch that they put down. It's not so much they need preen. It's not so much that they need um, any more uh, mulch. They just need to fluff up up. the existing mulch that they have. You know, just basically you turn it and, and you lighten up that compacted mulch. It's essential for that mycorrhiza. And, and like, for instance, our, our favorite and I think the best fertilizer in the world is made by espoma and espoma has mycorrhiza added into the fertilizer so it's that it works that many it's just not like gosh how many times i'll get a lot of old timers coming it's like do you have any 10 10 10 or 5 10 5 or 10 6 4 or 10 10 you know. yeah that has absolutely no mycorrhiza in it it's also all chemical so it doesn't really last very long where the espoma product has will is organic will break down slow will last has the mycorrhiza in it so as it works into the root system of the plant the mycorrhiza attaches itself to the root system so that it can absorb the new the, the nutrients it's a it's a in like we say a symbiotic yeah. relationship and just make sure that before you say oh i need mulch because it looks flat Try to rough it up a little bit and see if it fluffs up to that three or four inches as opposed to just piling it on. And especially around trees and some larger shrubs. Wait, boy, do I my son all the time. 
they have volcanoes around their trees, volcano. And what that means is that it's just there's so much mulch that it looks like the tree is coming out of the center of the mulch and it's a volcano. That's uh, not what you want. That's not what you want. And uh, since we're talking about azaleas and rhododendrons, spray right now for lace bugs. Lace bugs make your azaleas and rhododendrons, and especially pieris, japonica, uh, they make them always seem yellow because they're these little insects that will overwinter and that they, they feed on the leaves. And if you get real, real close, you'll notice that it's like little spots on the leaves because they go and they suck out the nutrients from the leaf. And being that it turns them yellow, they don't produce as much food because of photosynthesis. And that what you can do right now is, pr- is spray... Any type of horticultural oil. So we're th- we like all seasons horticultural oil. It's organic, and you have to make sure you get under the leaf, and it basically smothers any insects or a- eggs that are overwintering on the plant. And then also, we talked about it already, the Espoma Holly Tone now, then again in the spring, and then give it one more shot because it's still, plants are growing it, we've been pretty warm and if you've used jack's acid plant food uh you're, that would be okay to put down now and then you're going to do it in the spring you're going to do it probably every i don't know once a month yeah. and it's a water soluble fertilizer it works really quick it it doesn't last for a tremendous amount of time but it's like it gives it an extra, yeah, extra kick, kick yeah. so do that but again it's make sure that you're not putting more mulch on top of compacted mulch because you're creating a bigger problem down the road. Anything to add, Julio? No, that's, uh, we see that. I mean, you see that a lot. Oof. We yeah. really do. Yeah. We really do. It it's uh, it's a simple thing, really. Yeah, it you know, it's like we're saving you money. You don't have to buy more mulch. Mm-hmm. Just get some tools out, rough that up mm-hmm. a little bit, yeah. fluff it up, and then you're good to go. Yeah. We're not thinking about compaction. Yeah, no, many people don't even think that it's a thing. It's like, I put it down on the so loose and fluffy. Yeah. It's like, no, it it's, over time. time with water and, and and time, it just compacts and creates a crust yeah. over the soil. So, and nice. instead of creating an area that it's a protection from drought, it almost creates a drought issue because it absorbs that moisture out of the soil into the mulch. So, you gotta watch. Check your mulch. Yep. Check your mulch. Make sure it's not too deep.